in Zach Marks. The usual suspects back there returning kicks. Kicking off for OG is Jordan Deemer. Jordan Deemer kicking off. Sajrak Bar and Grill kickoff is ready. Ready to play some football right now on K94. Here's the kick. Deep. Zach Marks is going to field it. Takes it at the 10, brings it up to the 20, 25. Gets to about the 29-yard line, and that's where Salina is going to start with the football. First and 10 from the 29 for the Bulldogs as Caleb Moyne brings out the Salina offense. We'll see... I can kind of name the receivers for you already. Zach Marks, of course, uh, will be out at receiver, as will be Justin Keeling. See if they start out with Ryan Harder in the backfield. Looks like they're going to Ryan Harder. A fantastic game last week in the backfield. Justin Keeling is out there. Dussel Vandenhuvel also on our side. Scully and Marks and Keeling. First pass, complete to about the 34-yard line, 34-35 yard line. Good uh, five-yard pass from Caleb Hoyne to, Z to uh, Jake Stolle. Jake Stolle, uh, nice catch, second and five for the Bulldogs on the 35-yard line with 11.31 to play here in the first quarter. Second and five for the Bulldogs. Caleb Hoyne behind center, gets the snap, hands off to Ryan Harder, who gets about four. He needed five, he got four. So looking about a third and one right now from the 39-yard line for the Bulldogs. How often do you want to get stopped? Moving the ball, uh, pretty methodically, Bob. Uh, a couple pretty good plays there. Yeah, positive yardage. That's what we need every time, you know. Five yards and four yards. Third and one on the 39-yard line. Caleb Hoyne brings it under center. Takes the shotgun. Hands off to Ryan Harder. He gets the first and more. Takes it up to the 43-yard line. That's a gain of four. That's a Vogel Bake Shop first down for the Bulldogs. Ryan Harder with a good four yards there. First down and 10 from the 43 for Salina. Our first Vogel Bake Shop first down of the ball game. Just underway here at Salina Stadium. Ryan Harder lined up beside Caleb Hoyne in the shotgun. Caleb Hoyne fakes the handoff, throws it out to Stolle. 44, complete to the 44 yard line. Another Vogel Bake Shop first down for the Bulldogs. Takes it all the way to the OG 44 yard line. Once again, first and ten for the Bulldogs. Caleb Owen checking the sideline for the play. Jacob Stolle on our side of the field. Across the field is Zach Marks and Justin Keeling. No, Vonda Hoople. Yep, Dussel Vonda Hoople. Point hands off to Harder. He gets a couple of yards out of that. We'll, we'll give him two. He is second down and eight for the Bulldogs. On the 41 yard line. They gave him three on that play. So, second down and seven from the. That's, that's a 42. Second down and eight. 42 yard line. I'm calling it myself. Yeah, I, I, think, they, <laughs> I, I think the scoreboard's off. Second and eight. Caleb okay, Owen under center. Hands off to Harder. Who oh. went down the middle, didn't get much, busted out to the outside, may have gotten about a yard out of that, going a long way for a yard. Well, I give him the 40. All right, give him more than that then. Give him a couple out of that. Give him two out of that. Yep. Make it a third down and five from the 40, or a third down and six from the 40. Big third down play right here for the Bulldogs. Want to keep this drive alive. Caleb Hoyne calling out the signals. Pops his hands. Receives the football. Looking, he's going to take off running. And he's smothered about the 38-yard line. Not enough for the first down. So we're looking at about a fourth and four now on the play. 
See what Solana does here. Hmm. Bringing in the punting unit, it looks like. On the fourth and four from the 38. Sun's gone for this, uh, in other situations here, but... Yeah, I, I kind of thought they might go for it. 38-yard line, fourth and four. Caleb Hoyne back to receive the kick. He is kicking it. Fair catch called for. By Connor Neese. Connor Neese. Fair caught the ball at the 10-yard line, and that's where OG is going to take over. 7.52 to play. First and 10 from the 10 for the OG Titans. Once again, we mentioned a quarterback, Zach Unterbrink, the quarterback for OG. Very mobile quarterback, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see how Salinas defense holds and see what OG has in store in the first plays on offense. Unterbrink back to pass. Nice pass in the flat. A lot of yardage for number 33. Bryce Utra, Bryce Utra brings it across midfield all the way to the 45-yard line. Justin Keeley makes the tackle, so first down for OG, and they got 45 yards. 45 yards on that play brings it to the Salina 45. Bryce Utra was the receiver on that play, and he got 45 yards. Utrip. Bryce Utrip, the receiver on that. Hunter Brink, hands off. The counter niece, he got a couple out of that, not much. Second down and nine. Tackle made by Early in the ballgame, 7 10 to play here in the first quarter. 0 0. Salina had to punt on their first possession. Gave the ball up to OG, who started from their own 10. They're now on the Salina 44. Hunter Brink, under center, in the shotgun. Gets the pass, or gets the snap back, and he is going to be smothered and tackled. 14 sack. Joey Valk, or uh, Zach, Zach Bigelow, Bigelow, got the sack for them. And so that is a Willow Restaurant sack. Dean Ward of Salina picks up the first Willow Restaurant sack in the Willow Restaurant sack attack. So Dean Ward gets a sack of hamburgers from the Willow Restaurant in Salina. Moves it back to the 50-yard line. Now third and 15 from the 50 for OG. That puts the Salina defense in a better position. A third and long for OG. Hunter Brink back to pass. Throws it up in the air. Long pass. For number 24, Logan McDermott, who caught it. Caught it between the 20 and the 15, brought it all the way down to the 12. Another first down for OG. Underbrink, man, this pass is right on the money to those receivers. Takes it all the way down to the 12-yard line. First and 10 from the 12 for OG. And OG's on the move as we speak. First and 10 from the 12. 5.52 to go here in the first quarter. No score as of yet. OG is threatening. Hunter Brink takes the snap. Take, keeps it himself. Tries to bounce to the outside. Got a couple yards out of that. Got to the 10-yard line. We'll give him two. Not quite two. Got, yeah, got to the 10. Got to the 10-yard line. Give him two. So that's uh, second eight from the 10 for OG. Hunter Brink breaks the huddle. Second and eight from the 10-yard line for OG. Need a big stop here for the final defense. Hunter Brink takes the ball from the center. Throws out in the into the end zone, actually. Incomplete to Bryce Utrip. Incomplete. That'll make it a third and eight from the 10. It's not a defense trying to hang strong. Four 
49 to play here in the first quarter. Third and eight on the 10 for the OG Titans. Four down territory, you think, Jim? Yep, definitely. I didn't know if they had a kicker or not. I don't know for sure. I'd say down there that they're going to have to go. I would think they'd want to go for it that deep. Ten-yard line. Enter Brink. Rolls right. Throws. Throws it out of bounds. Incomplete. We're going to find out real soon, Bob. It's a yeah. fourth and eight from the ten. Mayberry was chasing Utter Brink there. He got rid of it before he got sacked. Mitch Mayberry, the senior lineman or, or linebacker for the Bulldogs. Oh, Looks like they're bringing the kicking team in, Bob. Kicker. And that kicker's name... He leans in. Cameron Grimlin. Right? Yep. Hold it. Number six. Tristan Ball. Tristan Ball for OG. Sophomore, Sophomore kicker. For OG, trying to make it three to nothing. Snap back. The kick up is no good. No good. Salina is hold, held right uh, first quarter, so uh, it's 4.38 to go. We'll take a two-minute break. Be back. Oh. OG, timeout. Stadium, Jim Hyatt and Bob Waterman. One score. They stop on the first quarter. Wall box seven. Hyatt and zero. First and ten for the Bulldogs on their 20. So zero, zero. Uh, out of possession. Back to Caleb Hoy. <laughs> to Jake Stolle. Jake Stolle going a long way. Spotted on the 25. Took it all the way down across midfield. Took it to... 43 yard lines with this play. Yep. Nice pass by Caleb Horn to Jake Solid. 37 yard pass play from Caleb to Jacob. Horn to Solid. First down for the Bulldogs from the 43 4. 21 to play here in the first quarter. Nice score. First to 10 Bulldogs. Caleb Horn. Takes the snap. He's going to run it himself. Turns the corner. He's got the first down and a little more. Got about 12 yards on that play. Takes it down to about 28 yard line. Oh, oh, they did mark on the Exactly 10 yards. Vogel Big Shot first down. Two Vogel Big Shot first downs in a row for the Bulldogs. And now the Bulldogs are on the move. The clock moving at four minutes exactly. 30 yard line for Solana from the OG 30. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Brian Harder in the backfield with Caleb Horn. Snap back. Going back to throw. He's going to tuck it and run. It's a couple out of the play. We'll get him two that time. That time we'll take it to 28. Tackle made by Daniel. That looked like a little broken play. That comes from the outside between the 29 and 28 yard line. So. Give him one on the carry. Second and nine. On the 28 yard line. Get there, Dad. On the 28 yard line. So uh, second and eight for the Bulldogs. He'll go on back to pass. Hands off to Ryan Harder, fake it. Harder across the 25 to the 24. Made by Connor Blossom. Yep. Make it a third and three on the play. Third and three for the Bulldogs. Nice carry by Ryan Harder. Jacob Stolle, flank to the right. Russell Von Hugel on the left. Ryan Harder in the backfield. Third and three. And the 23. Caleb Hoyne takes it and runs. And I'm not sure he got it. He may have come up a little short. It's going to be close. Well, the side coming in at the 20. So that's going to be close. Okay, I don't know. Just got in the three yards. They're going to take Caleb Hoyne so big he can just fall. First down. It's another Vogel big shot. First down for the Bulldogs. First and 10 from the 20 for the Bulldogs. 2.19 to go here in the first quarter. Zach Marks into the ball game as a receiver. Also Jake Stolle. 
the football and he will also have your TV. Up. Yep, he only needs to watch as well. Hardy in the backfield. Caleb Hoyne. Uh-oh, got a fly. Caleb Hoyne gets sacked. Takes it back to about the 29-yard line. Will he be safe, Bob? There's a flag down. See what the call is going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a flag. 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 Yeah, it's going to It is declined. So penalty holding is declined. Base speed option right It's going to be second and 16. Second and 16 from the 26. Number two. Second and long for the Bulldogs. So we're going back behind center. Takes it and runs it. He got a few yards back. Two, two yards. Yeah, we'll give him two on that. The defender. That makes it a third and 14 if it was two yards. So third and long once again for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs have a kicker in Cole Merlin, but that's a little far out for Cole Merlin. Yeah, I, I think that's a little far out. <laughs> this is probably four down third. I would say so. Looks like we got four wide out again. Ryan Harder in the backfield. Caleb Hoyne takes the snap. He's coming. Caleb didn't see it, threw it up, and it's... He caught it. Holy cow, look at like it. What it looked like OG was going was to intercept it, but it was caught by Zach Marks. Yep, Zach Marks with the catch. Holy cow. What a catch. What a catch. Caleb got hit from behind, got hit from the blind side, threw it up in the air. OG was camping underneath it. Zach Mark somehow snuck in there, caught the pass. 24-yard touchdown pass. Caleb going to Zach Marks. Zach Marks, a fantastic grab in the will be a Jacob player on the field for OG. The Schreiner Pharmacy injury timeout with, with Kyle Beerhoff. He's coming off the field. Well, Merlin comes on the field to try the extra point. Once again, if you missed it, a 24-yard pass. Caleb Hoyne to Zach Marks, and Bob, we talked about it. He, Caleb got hit, so it kind of Caleb got hit. Kind of lost it. it up in the air, and it looked like the OG players were going to, uh, a couple of them were going to settle under it for an interception, and Zach Marks came in, snagged the pass away for the touchdown. So 6-0 Salina. Cole Merlin on for the extra point. It's up and good. That makes it Salina 7, OG 0 with 50 seconds to play here in the first quarter. You're listening to your sports voice of choice, K94. Along to you uh, early in the first quarter, uh, Kenton ahead of St. Mary's 10 to 0. We mentioned Wapak up on Elida 7 to 0 in the first quarter as well. It's 7 to 0 here in favor of Salina over OG. And 7 7, Gary Raspberry from the standard. Just alerting me, 7-7, Wapak and Elidas. They got a dandy at that field for sure. Kenton's score kind of surprises me. Kenton ahead of St. Mary's, 10-0. Yeah, Kenton's been struggling. They have been. They've been playing some pretty good teams, though. Caleb Hoyne with the kickoff. Fielded by Connor Neese. Uh, brings it up. Nice. Uh, brings it up to the 31-yard line. making the tackle. John Stallman made the tackle on special teams for Salina. Nice tackle on Connor Neese. They're going to place it at the 30-yard line. First and 10 from the 30. For Zach Hunterbrink and the OG Titans. Hunterbrink calling out the signals. Back to pass. And threw it, a little, threw it a little bit low. Threw the pass down the middle to Jay Garcia. A little bit low. Garcia couldn't hang on to it. So it's a second and ten from the 30 for OG. Good defense by Salina. Provided some pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, that made him uh, that made the pass low. They got pressure there and he rushed his throw. 
Try to hit him right down the middle. He was open. Just the pass was a little bit low. And the defender was stride for stride with him. He was. He was. Hunter Brink keeps the Get ball up. himself. There you Got go. a couple out. We'll give him Marks. two. Zach Marks makes the tackle. Wow, they give him four. Wow, they did give him four. Make that uh, third and six for OG. From the 34-yard line, once again, Solana had 7-0 to zero over OG. 13 seconds to play here in the first quarter as the first quarter get ready to come to a close. Third and six, time for one more play for OG, unless they let the clock run out, and they're going to let it run out. After one period of play, it's Salina 7, OG 0. We're going to start period two here at Salina. Third and six from the 34, Salina leads 7-0. to zero. OG with the football, third and six. Hunter bring back to pass. Rolls left. Throws it out of bounds. Incomplete. Incomplete. Fourth and six from the 34. Pass was intended for Bryce Utrup. He actually caught the ball, but he was come down out Pretty of bounds. Pretty far out of bounds, yep. So that makes it fourth and six from the 34. For OG. Punting situation for sure. Hunter Brink. Hunter Brink back to kick it for the Bulldogs. Back for Salina. Is it Jake Stolly? It's my guess. Yeah. Calling for a fair catch. Stolly does call for a fair catch. Right at the four. No. Nope, it was Harder. Oh, Harder. Harder calls for the fair catch right at the 40 41. yard line. They're going to call it at the 41 yard line. 41 yard line it is. That's where Salina starts first and 10 from the 41. Ryan Harder back receiving the punt. That's uh, unusual. It's been Jacob Stolle almost the whole entire year. Yeah. Well, Stolle's been a little busy receiving the ball today. That's a good point. Very good point. Elida and Wapak, as Gary Raspberry mentioned, 7 7 in that game. Caleb Hoyne back to pass. Nope, he hands it off to Ryan Harder. Yep, hands off to Harder. Gets a couple out of the play. Give him three. Three, yeah, looks like a... Second three. seven for the Bulldogs. The 44. Eleven thirteen to go here in the second quarter. Seven to nothing. Salina over OG. Second and seven for the Bulldogs. Harder keeps it. Bounds his way to. I'm gonna say it's a first down. Uh, he might be a little short. Might I be. don't know. It's, it's right at right the chains. Yeah. Yep. He might have got it. And seen the signal. It is first down. It's a Vogel Bake Shop. First down. Just across midfield. To the 49 yard line. That's where they place it down. First and ten for the Bulldogs. Hand off to Harder up the middle. Nice run. Yep. Nice run. Got about four out of that. Maybe five. Maybe five. He got an extra yard there at the end. Six. He got wow, six. Wow, got Jim. six yards. They marked that at the, the 43. Make it second and four from the 43. We'll take it. Nice run by Ryan Harder. Kept those legs churning. Hard to bring down. Second and four from the 43 for the Bulldogs. Caleb Hoyne takes the snap. Pressure on him. Rolls right. He's got yardage. He's got the nice first down and more. Nobody's going to get him. Nobody's going to get him. He goes to the end zone. Touchdown. Caleb Hoyne. Stolle with the block out here to free him the rest of the way. 44-yard run from the 44. Caleb Hoyne. 
Didn't find anybody open, took it himself, and he is hard to bring down. He's a hoss. Caleb Hoyne, the Mad Hatter, takes it 44 yards for another Salina touchdown. Makes it 30, 13 to 0 in favor of the Bulldogs. Pull Merlin on for the extra point. Kick is up. Looks good. 14 to 0 in favor of Salina over OG. 9.48 here in the first half. Salina 14, OG 0. Caleb Hoyne, a 44 yard run into the pay dirt, into the end zone for a touchdown. Caleb Hoyne back to kick it off. Back for OG, number 24, Logan McDermott. And number three, Connor Neese. We've seen enough of Connor Neese tonight with his returns. He's, well, lucky for us, I guess he's been busy back there. Yes. Caleb Hoyne kicks it off. It's a nice kick. He's in the end zone. It, he's going to let it go in the end zone. Touchback. OG will bring it out to the 20. First and 10 for OG. They're down by 14. 14 to nothing. Real nice kick there. Yes, it was. Caleb's got a little bit of that... Uh, Momentum going. Yeah, I had a little extra uh, adrenaline going from that <laughs> long run, I think. <laughs> Pretty exciting after your 44-yard touchdown run. Uh, you kick it in the end zone after that. First and 10 for OG from the 29. 48 to play here in the first half. It's the line of 14, OG 0. Hunter Brink brings out OG's offense. Takes the ball. Oh, keeps keeps it. it himself. Has plenty of room up the middle to run. And Hunter Brink gets quite a bit of yardage. Takes it all the way up to the 43. Give him 23 yards on the play. Stolle and Dylan Hoyne in on the tackle. Jacob Stolle and Dylan Hoyne on the tackle. You know, Joe Hoyne gets a little bit of extra skipping his stuff every time we call Dylan Hoyne's name. Yeah, he does. He's, he hasn't been up here yet. <laughs> I know. Where is he? I don't Maybe know. Maybe he's bringing the pizza. Oh. We only hope. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he's all Dylan's tackle there. First and 10 for OG from the 42-yard line. Nice. A 22-yard run on that play. Hunter Brink. Yeah. Takes the handoff to Nice. Not fooled at all were Zach Marks. Zach Bigelow. And Zach Bigelow. The two Zachs covered him. We're not going to call that a sack, are we? Yeah. Is that a sack? All right, we'll call it a sack. Gary wants to get Gary's all about giving out hamburgers. Mike Gann of Salina gets the Willow Restaurant sack attack. We should call it the Zach attack with Zach Bigelow and Zach Marks. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Zach nice, sack. Nice one, Jim. Courtesy of that, they get uh, Mike Gant gets a sack of hamburgers from the Willow Restaurants. Thanks to the Zachs. Second down and 13 for OG from the 39. Mitch Mabry jumped, but uh, OG pulled him off. Alex, Alex Hayne. Alex Hayne from OG. Ball start for OG. That brings him even back farther. Give him a second and 18 from the 34 for OG. Zach Underbrink trying to make something happen for OG. They don't want to get down any farther. Underbrink back to pass. Throws the pass. Gets it just above the original line of scrimmage. Looks like he got up to the 45. Yep. Underbrink pass is complete to Nick Crawbaugh. 11 yard pass. Jacob Stolle making the tackle. Jacob Stolle with the tackle on that. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah. The guy that caught that? Like that? Yeah. All right. Third down and eight. Underbrink back. He's got pressure. Back to pass and throws it away. Throws it to the Salina sideline. That's going to make it. Caleb Hoyne catch that. Four <laughs> Caleb did catch that. He doesn't get he doesn't get our Stars and Stripes graphics defensive player of the game for catching it. He, he, wants, he wants to let him know that he caught it, though. He's holding up. <laughs> oh, oh, they called intentional grounding on that. There was no receiver in the area. There wasn't. There were plenty of Salina receivers. And Caleb Hoyne was wide open on the sidelines. 
That's gonna bring him back. So where they walk, they walk it past the 40. Well, he threw it from the 40, so it's five to from 35. There. So it's a. penalty. It's intentional grounding. I'd say it should be a loss of down. Fourth correct. Down. Ten yard loss. Fourth down. And an 18. Fourth down and 18. For OG. They're in a world of hurt. Hunter bring back to kick it. Harder to receive. Harder to receive, and he's not going to catch it. He's going to let it roll. Kicked it away from Harder. Down, OG downs it at the 21-yard line. That's where Salina will take over possession of the football, leading 14-0. 7.06 to go here in the first half. Salina's done a lot of stuff right. So far, offensively and defensively, they've... Uh, Kept Unterbrink and Nice and a few of the guys from OG's offense. Uh, uh, kept them out of scoring. They have a couple of big the, pass plays. They've made some good adjustments, though. The, the big pass plays came in the first drive, if you remember, yep. Jim. They had yep. two big pass plays, and since then, we just had the one 11-yard gain. So they, they've adjusted well. The defense they, has getting, adjusted well. They're getting more pressure on them. They are, for sure. So Caleb Hoyne. Brings Salina's offense out. First and ten from the 21. Hands off to Harder. Up the middle. And Harder's hard to bring down. Nice. Still stays on his feet. Gets to about the 31-yard line. He got almost ten out of that. Yep. He got enough. Looks so like they're giving nine. Oh, they give him nine. Okay. I, I about called it a Vogel Bake shot first down, but he's one yard short. Brian Harder, nice nine-yard run there. Second one for the Bulldogs. 6.37 to play in the first quarter, or in the first half, rather, second quarter. Hand off to Harder. He's got the first down and more. The Vogel Bake Shop first down takes him all the way up to the 37 yard line. 38. 38 yard line. 38. Oh, speak of Joe Hoyne, there he is. We knew if we called Joe Hoyne's name, he'd eventually show up. Yes. Gary thought maybe he went out for pizza. <laughs> Dylan Hoyne made a nice tackle on the defense just a little bit ago. Somebody, somebody Joe knows. First down and 10. Vogel from Big Shot, first down for the Bulldogs from the 38. Hand off to Harder. He's got another good chunk of yardage there. Seven. We'll give him seven. Second down and three for the Bulldogs. Ryan Harder goes out for a well-deserved rest for the Bulldogs. From Salinas 45-yard line. Second and three for the Bulldogs. Caleb Hoyne's going to keep it. Runs into a mess of OG tacklers. Nothing. Nothing. He'll be lucky if he got back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Yeah. Pretty much the line of scrimmage, the 45. No gain for Caleb Hoyne. Third down and three for the Bulldogs. Harder your comes back in. in. Harder's back into the ball game. Got to mark down my sack attack winner. So oh, I don't forget. Yeah, yeah. We want to make sure they get that. Yep. Want to make sure they get their burgers. Maybe they'll share. Third down and three from the 45 for the Bulldogs. Caleb Hoyne gets the pack, gets the snap back. High pass. He had to get rid of that. Yes, he did. He had plenty of pressure. Dussel Vandenhuvel was the intended receiver. Too high for him. Fourth down and three for the Bulldogs from the 45. Got a punt. You would think so. It was a punting situation. Ahead by 14. 14 to nothing. Defense is playing, playing well. Is hanging right in there. As you say, made a lot of good adjustments. And Salina is dropping back to pass. Caleb Hoyne, or dropping back to punt. Caleb Hoyne dropping back to punt. Good snap, good kick, high kick. Get down there. Nice, back to field it at the 15, takes it to the 20. Cuts up yeah. field about the 24-yard line, and that's where OG is going to be first down and 10 from the 24. Mitchell Mabry making the stop on the play. Mitch Mabry. 
tackle for the Bulldogs. Line of scrimmage, the 24. 4.38 to play in the first half. It's the Salina Bulldogs 14, OG 0. Been a well played game so far for the Bulldogs, both offensively and defensively. Senior, Senior night here at Bulldogs Stadium. Stadium. Thank you. First down and 10 for OG. Zach Unterbrink brings OG out. Gets the football, keeps it, rolls left, throws to Jay Garcia. It's caught by Garcia at the 35-yard line. That's going to be a first down for OG. 11 yards. Brian Harder made the tackle, not before OG got the first down, though. First and 10 for the Titans for the 35. First and 10 from the 35, Underbrink with the football. Back to pass, he's gonna run it. Takes off, nope, he's gonna throw it. Rolled left, there you go. Uh, threw, it, threw it to Logan McDermott, who uh, turned into a defensive back, pushed uh, Justin Keeling out of the way, and they should call an offensive pass interference on that, and it looks like that's exactly what they're calling. He, he didn't even look for the ball, Jimmy. No. <laughs> McDermott became a defensive back at that point and a not a very good defensive back at that. Just pushed Keeling out of the way so he couldn't catch the football. He's going to walk it back. Pretty big penalty. 15. 15 yarder. Back to the 20. First and 25 from the 20. Five from the 20 for the OG Titans. Got a long way to go. We thought you were in charge of pizza, Joe. <laughs> Are we early? Is that why the pizza's not here yet? First and 25 from the 20. For OG, Underbrink, back to throw. He gets wrapped up. Sack. Sack. Ian Hawkins, Ian Hawkins, the big sophomore. Ian Hawkins has been causing all kinds of problems all season long for quarterbacks. Guess what? That's another sack, folks. Jasmine Stommett of New Knoxville. He, she picks up uh, a sack of hamburgers as well from the Willow Restaurant. Thanks to the Willow Restaurant for giving out those hamburgers and uh, making some hay with those sacks. Yeah. Third sack of the ball game already for the Bulldogs. Ian Hawk is a big one there. Brings it back to the 15, makes it a second and 30 for OG. Back to pass, under Brink once again, gets it out to the 20 yard line. Caught by Kyle Girding. Got it back to the 23 yard line. Caught it about the 20 and gained a few more yards. Still going to be third down and a bunch. Third down and 22. Third and 22 for OG. 2.38 to go here in the first half. Salina leading 14 to 0. Hunter Brink. Passing situation once again. Back to pass. Looking. Scrambling around, he does that very, very well. But he's gonna get caught. <laughs> Seth Houston, the freshman, ran him down that time. And guess what? That's another sack of hamburgers from the Willow Restaurant. I think. First of the half. He told me he wasn't even playing this year. Yeah, okay. What about much? Yeah. I wouldn't. Yep, yep. That's used in the front and laid it down. Fourth down and 21. Or one. Two positive yards. Next job by the first and set. Run him down. He's hawking to the side. That's used in. 
held out of the one yard gain back for the punt. Nick Sowers up front and uh, the way from Harder. Not going to field it. Give it out. Up the line at 40 yards. I don't think they would have put it. First and 10. Ball is down at the 40-yard line, first and 10, the line. I know you want to like to get another score in and see what happens. Yes, yes, that would be with the way, with the way OG has come back in the past few games. I know that's exactly what uh, yes. I'm going to like to stack another score up for him. So. A non-WBL game, Fullwater leading St. Henry 10 to nothing in the first quarter. Fullwater over St. Henry. Oh, and that's not nothing. bad. 10 to Not a huge surprise there, I guess. A big rivalry there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Fullwater's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Good. St. Henry's no slouch. Fullwater's pretty good. Yeah. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Caleb Horn claps his hands. Good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Gets it out to Stolle. Catches it about 45 yards. Good five yards. Five yards. Five yards. Five yards. Five yards. Pick up on the back play. Get the second and five for the Bulldogs. I don't even Clock know our football players this year. No idea where they are. 51 to play here in the first so half. Taylor Horn gets the snap. Back to throw. He's going to run, but there's flags all over the place. He has the first down and more. We'll see what the flags are. I'm feeling it's holding. In that, in that vicinity, I guess. Caleb brings it all the way to the OG 40 yard line, but I have a feeling it's all coming back. Porch collar. Picking up the flags. Looks like flag day out there. More than one person threw a flag. That's for sure. And that's, they're going to walk it off. They're going to come against the line, that's for sure. Yeah, that's Holding off the line, as we suspected. That makes it second and 20 from the 30 yard line, towards one. Negates a nice game by Caleb Horn. Second 20 from the 30 for the Bulldogs. Horn grabs the football. Back to pass, throws it behind Jacob Stolle, incomplete. So make it a third and 20 from the 30 for the Bulldogs. Jacob Stolle cut one way, Caleb threw it the other way, threw it behind him. Third down and 20 for the Bulldogs. 1.14 to play here in the first half. Score update, Jimmy. End of the first quarter. Marion and Minster, 0-0. Zero zero. It's a good game. For recovery, picked off a Delphi St. John pass, but Delphi St. John leads that 7-0. Caleb Hoyne tucks the football and runs, gets it across the 35 to the 36, but that's not going to be enough. Six-yard gain. That's going to make it 4th and 13 for the Bulldogs, and I think we're in a punting situation. Yeah, OG called a timeout. Timeout for the way down the field. Broke to the outside, broke back inside, and had Salina chasing him for the touchdown. 14-7 to in favor of Salina. Jordan Deemer. Kicking off for OG. He kicked off to start the game. We haven't seen him kick off since then. Salina still leading 14 to 7, but a big kickoff return or punt return for OG. Stolly fields it. Get him. Go, go, go. Has go, some go, running go, room. Go, 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 go. And he, he go. breaks it up the field. Tackle from behind. Gets it to the 37 yard line. Good return for Jake Stolly. Yeah, he was picking his way through there. He almost got through. One guy caught him there. <laughs> One guy came from behind and got him. So Salina gets the ball on the 37-yard line. 32 seconds to go. First and 10. Okay. 
score here would really be nice since that uh, it would be going to have to do it quick though only 37 seconds plus plus we have to kick off OG that's right ball in the second half. that's right Solano will be kicking off to start the second half Taylor Boyne in the backfield with Ryan Harder come on first and ten back to throw gotta get one go runs and then throws it Throws it to Von Den Heuvel, but uh, in the area of Von Den Heuvel, but no chance for a complete pass. Incomplete. Second and ten. Oh, Zach Marks was the intended receiver. Still didn't have a chance. Defensive play by Jerry Garcia. Garcia made the defensive play for OG. Well, Caleb did the right thing. He got rid of the ball before he got sacked and yeah. put it in the vicinity of a receiver. Yep, exactly right. Second and ten looks like they're going to sit Lord on it. going to kill it. Yep. That's exactly what happens, and Salina goes into half. They're going to have time for one more play. About 22 seconds left. we got a 25-second clock. Somebody call timeout. Eight seconds. They don't have to run a play. I'm going to say Salina's going to let the clock run out, I'm pretty sure. And we're at the half. I didn't see anything, so. We thought we were going to be free and clear, but uh, what's a Friday night football game without a little bit of rain? Once again, getting ready to start the second half. 14-7 to in favor of Salina over OG. Caleb Owen getting ready to kick off the football. And it'll be the side tracks, bar, and grill kickoff for the second half. Back deep for OG is Logan McDermott and Jay Garcia for OG. And here's the kick. Start the second half. McDermott's going to field it. Fumbles it. Picks it back up on the three. Takes it straight up the middle. Takes it up to the 25-yard line. And that's for OG. Zach Underbrink and the OG offense are going to start first and ten from there. Mark Clausen on the tackle. Mark Clausen, one of the seniors. Mark Clausen, one of the seniors, uh, honored uh, before the game for senior day. Mark Clausen, one of those special team specialists. And one of the guys I follow on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Zach Underbrink, first and ten for OG. Back to pass. Completes it. Completes it to Logan McDermott. Uh, six yard. Seven. Seven, seven yards. Yep, seven yard pass play. That's going to make it second and three for OG on the 32 yard line. 30, yeah, 32 yard line. Second and three for OG. Underbrink trying to get something going here for the OG offense to start out the second half. It's the handoff. Handoff to Daniel Beamer for OG. Stopped pretty quickly. Got about a yard out of the play. Takes it to the 33-yard line. Give him a third down and two for OG. Host of Salina Tacklers in on that play. Nice got hurt. Connor Nice is not in the back. Yeah, he, has, he didn't return the kickoff. Hasn't played any uh, offense yet. Hunter bring back to pass, and he's going to pick up a first down. Passes out to Nick. Wyrock. Wyrock uh, with the catch, and it's a first down at the 40-yard line. Nope, the 38-yard line. Five yards. Five yard pass play. Wyrick. With the reception and a first and ten for OG. Under bring first and ten with the Titans. Uh, 38 yard line. He keeps it and runs. 
Goes over to the Salina sidelines. Picks up about three on the play. That yeah, looked like a busted play as uh, running back went the wrong way, I think. Takes it up to the 41-yard line. She give him a second and seven for OG. Three-yard gain on the busted play. Better than no gain for the Titans, I guess. Yes, yes it is. Second and seven for OG on the 41-yard line. 10.06 to play here in the third quarter. Hunter Brink, back to pass. Throws it out. Around the first down yard marker, yard marker and I think it's probably going to be a first down. Caught by Nick Weirich to the 48. Dylan Hoyne with the tackle for Salina on the play. And are they going to call it a first? It's very close. First down, OG. Dylan Hoyne is right there, but not before Wyrick caught the pass for the first down. Takes it to midfield to the 48. First and 10 for OG. One of the adjustments it looks like OG made is uh, they're doing quick, short passes. You mentioned uh, Connor Neese, big factor in the first half. We have not seen him yet here in the second half. Not sure what's going on there. Hunter Brink back to pass once again. Complete, completes it to Kyle Girding. It's the 45 yard line of Salina. The Salina 45. That's going to make it a second down. And three for OG Titans. OG moving the ball pretty well here on this first drive. Yeah, they come out with the pass. Come out, hit some quick hitters, and just moving right down the field. Second and third from the 45 for OG. Andrew Bryant, Andrew Brink under center. Takes the pat, takes the... Takes the ball. Out of bounds. Are they going to call it out of bounds or call it completion? The official up here said he was out of bounds. Pass to Garcia, and he caught the pass about the 15-yard lines, but they're going to call it out of bounds, as Bob said. That was a, a break because that was a nice pass and catch. Yes, it was. Hunter Brink took the snap. Nice pass to Garcia, and he caught it, but uh, he was out of bounds when he caught it. That was a 40-yard pass play there. No, a 30-yard pass play. Nevertheless, doesn't count. Third down and three from the 45. Uh -oh. Five. False start. Say Salina defense says it was a false start on OG, and OG must have said the same thing because they're starting to walk backwards. Brings it back to midfield, back to the 50-yard line. That's going to be a fourth and eight for OG. Third and eight. Third and eight. Third. Sorry. I looked at the scoreboard. <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. my mistake. I see. I see how you that. Third and eight for OG on the 50. Hunter Brink back to pass once again. Passes it to Jay Garcia who catches it. Well covered by Ryan Harder. It's going to be a first down or is it a little short? Oh. Ryan Harder with a nice tackle. It's going to be really close to another first down. Just a little short, about a yard short. Garcia's down. Garcia is down. That's going to be Schwederman Pharmacy injury timeout. We'll take a break. Be back on your sport choice of choice. K94, 30 second break. You call him that a sack? Well, it's a no game on the, the line of scrimmage. All right. Okay. No hamburgers this time from the Willow Restaurant. We already had three sacks tonight. Well, by the Zach sack attack. Yes. Well, that would have been another one. From the Willow Restaurant, yeah. He fought, he fought enough to get to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten for OG from the 27. Hunter Brink. Back to pass. Zach Marks missed him. Almost had him. 
threw it up in the air, and it's picked off by Salina. See who picked it off, Dylan Hoyne. Dylan Hoyne. Dylan Hoyne with the interception. Zach Marks rushed Unterbrink, got a lot of pressure on him, couldn't bring him down, but Unterbrink threw it up in the air, and Dylan Hoyne picks it off. The 5'8 sophomore, Dylan Hoyne, picks it off for Salina. Turnover OG, first and 10 from the 18 for Salina. Uh, Dylan, Dylan made a nice play on that. He just uh, he read the ball up in the air and came over and took it out of the air. You know, his Uncle Joe wouldn't have been able to make a play like that. Uh, his Uncle Joe's saying he taught him everything he knows, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm not buying that one. No, Uncle Joe doesn't move like that. <laughs> First and ten from the 18 for the Bulldogs. Flag on the play. Delay of game for Salina. Oh, hate to see that. First and ten, penalty's gonna move him back from the 18 yard line. That's uh that's tough. Get get to turn over and come out and get a delay game. First and fifteen from the thirteen is where we're starting now. For the Bulldogs. And off to Harder. Ryan Harder with the ball. Here yep, Ryan Harder with the ball. Got a couple yards out of that. Give him two. Second and 13 from the 15. Kevin making the last tackle. Yeah, looks like Salina came out with a, a offset pistol type formation there. Two people in the backfield, right? Salina needs uh, some yards and in a hurry. Pin back at the 15-yard line. Toss. Toss out to is that Harder. I think so. Yep, Harder with the with the pitch out. Got back to the original line of scrimmage. I'd say. Yeah. You ain't gonna give him a yard on that. Bob? Three yards. He got three. Okay. He got back to the original. Oh, the original line of scrimmage. All right. I, I see what you're saying. Third and ten. Yeah. 18-yard line. Where we started. Caleb Hoyne, third and ten from the 18. Takes the snap. Hands off to Harder, who goes up the middle. He's not going to get enough, though. He got yeah, five, six. Yeah, probably maybe. got five or six on that carry. But that's not going to be enough. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth and two from the 26. Oh, I gave him eight there. Give him eight on that carry. I didn't. Not enough. Hunt team comes out for Salina. Salina ahead in the ball game, 14 to seven. But they wanted to uh, make a statement early on. I have a feeling here in the second half, and uh, it's a fun situation for the Bulldogs. Terry Horn gets the punt away. Garcia, backing Garcia up. Dylan catches Hoyne it. on the pass. Catches it on the 28. Dylan Hoyne comes down, makes the play. No, no gain, or no gain, no yards on a return. First and ten, no G, and the twenty eight. Intercepted. Uh, Heard that play. complete. Nick Harbaugh on the receptor. Jacob Stallings will be finished. Second and seven. Second and seven. 
half of it. Number 33, Bryce Utrip. Not going to be, it gets into the 35 yard line, not enough for a first down, so it's going to be third and three to go from the 35. Salina could use another stop right here. That defense has played pretty well tonight. Big third down here. Yep, third down and three. Salina would like to stop them. Of course, OG wants to get another first down. Hunter Brink back to pass. He's got some pressure from Mitch Mabry. Throws it up the, up the field. Stopped by Utrip. Utrip. Catches it midfield, takes it all the way up to the 20 yard line. That's where he's tackled. So it's a first down and more for OG. 45 yards. 45 oh. yard pass, pass play. Hunter Brink to uh, Utrip. 45 yard play. First down and 10 from the 19. Had some pressure. He rolled out right. Had pressure from Zach Bigelow and and uh, Mitch Mabry. But he got the pass off and it was a good one. 45 yards worth. First down and 10 for OG. Handoff. Daniel Beamer on the ball for him. The big back, Daniel Beamer. Rumbles through the line. See how many yards he got on that. Gets it up to the 13, got six yards. Give him a second down and four. Daniel Beamer, his name hasn't been called a lot tonight. I, I think that's probably the second time we called it. Yeah, we didn't see him in the first half. He's been in just in the second half here. Well, because uh, we haven't seen friend Connor Neese has uh, been in, invisible for the second half. Uh, Made some nice plays in the first. We haven't seen him here in the second. Must be something going on injury-wise with him. Hunter Brink. Under center, and I think it's probably oh, delay of game. Yeah. Yep. Delay of game. That's going to back OG up. Delay of game. Give him a second down and nine from the 18. Second down and nine from the 18 for OG. We mentioned Connor Neese. Haven't seen him in the second half. We don't see him over there on the bench. Hand off. Hand off to number 21, Beamer once again. Got, got a few of the yards back. Mitch Mabry on the tackle. He's going to make it third down and two. Yeah, yeah. Looks like third down and two. Seven yard gain that time for Beamer. Third down and two for OG deep in Salina territory. Ball resting on the 11 yard line. Third and two. 34 seconds to go in the third quarter. We're skipping right along here in this ball game. Hunter Brink takes the snap, keeps it himself. So. And he's going to go around the end. Nope. Not quite for the touchdown, but he's closer. He got the first down for sure. Yeah. Dylan Hoyne with the tackle for Salina. Saved a touchdown there. Yes, he did. Touchdown saving tackle. So you get to the Dylan one Hoyne. Line. Dylan Hoyne making uh, a lot of noise to be the defensive player of the game. The Stars and Stripes graphics defensive player of the game so far. First down and goal from the one. That's what they call it. Gary's got the Binox out, ready to watch. I'm going to show you my bald head as I lean out the window. Turnover would be nice. Turnover would be fantastic right now, as a matter of fact. Hunter Brink under center. Going Push it through. Touchdown. OG. Hunter Brink. One yard run across. That makes it 14-13. Salina over OG and the extra point. On the way with 11.56 to go 
here in the ball game. It's Salina 14, OG 13. Tristan Ball on to try the extra point for OG. He's been perfect tonight as far as extra points go. Oh, he's gonna miss it. Snap is high. Right. Yes. Pick is up. No good. Blocked. Yes. Blocked. Harder. Harder with the block, Ryan. Harder. Blocked. Harder. 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 Go, 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 go! What are you doing? Black Morris, please. Five yard line. That's where the line starts. First and ten. From the 25. Caleb Morris is off the line of offense. Game. Line of defense. Caleb Morris is off the line of offense. 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 Caleb Morris now be the time to uh, kick it to get a couple punts and move the line. So, uh, 11 50 to go. The line of hands on to one point. Come on, Green. Caleb one with the ball. Hands off to Ryan Harder. There we go. Ryan Harder with the ball carrier. Takes it up to 27. Second, eight. 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 Oh my gosh. Running down the zero right now. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> can, we, uh, can we run the clock for 11 minutes? <laughs> yeah, move the ball. <laughs> can I move the ball? Exactly. Here we go, Second Green. and eight. Come Get on. Get up the harder once again. Yeah. He got about a yard. That's all we got. It is third and seven for the Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job in the gear now. Tackle made by Jim Coffin. Offense. Uh, Not going to put somebody behind. Wrong. 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 28 yard line. Third. Seven for the Bulldogs. Come on, Green. They were going. Ryan Harder in the back here. Take the snap. Take hand off to Harder. Throws it up to Jake Stolle who passed. Yeah! Yeah. Thought it over midfield, gets it down to about the 41 yard line. That, my friend, is the Vogel Bank shot first down for the Bulldogs. First down, up 43. Up 43. That's a big first down. That's a big Vogel Bank shot first down right there. 30 yards. 30 yard pass play, first and 10 from the 43 for the Bulldogs. Caleb Hoyne hands off to Ryan Harder. Brings it across the 40 to about the 38. Five yard. We'll give him five on that. Second five for the Bulldogs. Yes, 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 yes. 14-13, Salina hangs on to a one-point lead. They've got the ball, second and five from the 38-yard line. Caleb Hoyne hands off to Ryan Harder, who chugs across the 35-yard line to about the 33. And it's going to be really close to a 30 down. Depend on the spot here. 
Oh, give him five. Another first down. Another Vogel big shot. First down for Salina. First down. Carter grounding out the yardage. Caleb Hoyne takes the, takes the snap, takes it himself. Goes up the middle, gets a couple yards. From the 33 across the 30. He got five yards. He got five yards. Boy, six. Five, I'll give him five. Second down and five. When it doesn't look like Caleb Hoyne has much, he falls forward and gets another couple yards. So. Yeah. Second and five for the Bulldogs from the 28-yard line. Bulldogs running clock with the, with the running plays. Caleb Hoyne takes it. He's going to run it himself, looking for some daylight. He's got a hole and some room. Another first down. Takes it across the 20. Another Vogel big shot, first down. They're going to place it down at the 19-yard line. Nine-yard run there. Nine-yard run for Caleb. And that clock continues to run. 8.32 to go here in the ball game. Salina ahead by one, and Salina moving the ball. First down and 10 from the 19 for the Bulldogs. Little ball control offense for Salina. Well, we had that one pass over the middle that kind of ignited us. Yep. Hand off to Harder up the middle. And he's running close to a touchdown, but it's he's short of the goal line. Broke a tackle and almost got in. Almost. Took him down about the two-yard line. Yep, they got it at the two. First and goal, another Vogel big shot. First down, first and goal from the two. Give Ryan Harder 17 yards on that carry. That was a nice run. It was a nice run. Broke a couple of tackles. Had about one more to break, and he couldn't break it. OG with the timeout. Timeout for the OG Titans. We'll do it. Ryan Harder and Caleb Hall have uh, taken the brunt of uh, the running ability. Dick Stalin, nice, nice reception on this drive as well. First and goal from the two for the Bulldogs. Caleb Hall calls the plays. Hand off to Harder and uh, probably lost the guard. Ryan Harder carries the football. Second down. Two to go. Second and, second and goal from the three. Right, 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 right. Play. OG defense is ready for that. They called the timeout. Well, um, they stepped up the middle. Yeah? Uh, we're about one and three. But after the second set, up the middle. Second down. Goal from the three. Come on, Green. Goal from the barked out the signal. Takes it himself. Goes forward. Got in, but I oh, Ryan Harder from the back. He's on the edge yard line. Maybe the one. It's pretty close to the goal line. Didn't get in. Harder was helping him. All the good. Take your time. <laughs> Take the time. OG kid hurt. Harder needed a little more push by. Third down and goal. White, from the one. Watch to move, 6.54 to play at the ball game. Plenty, plenty to end right here, folks. Couple tries to do that. Third and goal from the one. This is Friday Night Football, ladies and gentlemen. Caleb Hoyne keeps it. Yeah! And easily through the, through the back. Touchdown, Caleb Hoyne, one yard run. Got him to give the assist to Harder. He helped Harder, Harder pushed him again. Make that 20 to 13 in favor of Salina with 6.30 to play. One yard run, Caleb Hoyne. Assist by Ryan Harder. Cole Merlin comes in. Try the very important extra point right now. That's 20 to 13. Get a good snap, a good hold. Good snap, good hold. Up and good. Make it Salina 21, OG 13 with 6.33 to play. Salina head by 8. We'll take a 30 second break on your sports voice choice, K94.
fight, not mine. Take a break. Eat a break. Back at Salina Stadium. 6.33 to play in the ball game. Salina 21. OG 13. Big scoring drive. Took a lot of time that time, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, Jim. Um, well, you know, we've only had four possessions so far second half. OG's had right. two, and we've had two. So, clock's moving quickly. Ball's clock's staying on the ground, staying in bounds. Import, important drive for Salina. Took a long time on that drive. And uh, punched in from the one, Caleb Hoyne. Brought into the end zone. 21-13, Caleb Hoyne to kick off. Kicks it deep for OG. From the one. Logan McDermott takes it from the one. Starts to bring it up. Oh. Brings it to the 32. Those holes opened up once again with the, with the kick return. Took it from the 1 to the 32. That's where OG is down. It'll be 1st and 10 OG from the 32. Maybe 33, Jim. Looks like he spotted on 33. Right here, 34. Uh, no, 33. Okay. 33. All right. I'll keep you in line a little bit. I appreciate it. I need somebody to keep me in line. Phil's not here to give you a hard time. I don't see as well as I used to, so any help is appreciated. <laughs> we're the same age and we're getting old is the problem. Elida takes a 14-10 lead over Wapak. Underbring back to throw. Caught in the middle. Caught in the middle of the field. Midfield by Wyrick. Takes it about the 48-yard line. Takes it some more. Takes it all the way to the Salina 41. But there's flag on the play. Oh, Jesus. Do not fall. Couple flags on the play. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Walk in the back. It like leans forward and it's really heavy. Yeah. Uh. OG back. Very nice game. That's a great wire. Walking it back. Yards from the penalty, that can bring it back to the seven yard line. Mm. I know, I, I know that. First and ten. I'm not down in the first, first and seven. First and six. And the Never was very good in math. First and six from the 37 under Brink. First down for OG. Back to pass. Yes. Pass ball incomplete. Attended for Jay Garcia. He overthrew him though. Threw in the middle of a couple of Salina defender. And threw it over Garcia's head. Harder on the coverage. Second down and six from the 37. 547 to play in the ball game. That clock. Want that to move. Clock stopped right now at 547. By the lead drop off 14 to 10 at the end of the third quarter. That's a big score right now. Second and six. Hunter bring back to pass. Screen. Gets it to Garcia. Screen to Garcia. Goes the whole length of the field. Uh, takes it all the way across midfield up to the 45 yard line. That's a first down. And that stops the clocks and moves the chains. 5.36 to play. Salina up by 8. 18 yards. 21 to 13. 18 yard pass play. Hunter Brink to Garcia. Hey, Jim. Schumann says he's here in spirit. <laughs> I've got so much to say. Yeah, I bet. Schumann being here in spirit. I bet. <laughs> First and 10 from the 45. Glad he can hear us. Back to pass, Underbrink. Oh, dropped. Yeah. Dropped by Logan McDermott. It's going to be a second down and 10 from the 45. Big hello to my partner, Phil Schumann. Bob Waterman filling in. We certainly appreciate Bob filling in for Phil since he is in 
incapacitated. I don't. I don't know. I don't even know where Phil is tonight. Some place where he can get us on the app. I think he might be in Dayton. I'm not sure. All right. Thought it might be sexy time for him and Kay, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't need to know anymore. <laughs> Second down <laughs> and ten from the 45. Hunter Brink brings OG up to the line in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it once again. Trent Basinger catches the ball at the 40-yard line. That's going to be a second down and five. No, third down and five. Need a big defensive stand right here. You can hear Joe Hoyne in the background yelling at the defense. Third down and four from the 39. That's what they're calling it. Third and four for OG. Central Brink brings him out. Hunter Brink back to pass once again. Evades the rush. Got to sack. That from There's the a sack. Mitch Mabry in there for the sack. Got a little help. From his friends. Mitch Mabry with the sack. And Seth Houston helped him out with the sack. That's a fourth down. And that's another sack attack winner. Sack of hamburgers goes to Mary Hall of Salina. The sack of hamburger from the Willow Restaurant. The fourth sack of the evening for the Bulldogs. Big uh, fourth and six in the 41, and OG's going for it. Big defense. 343 to go in the ball game. Hunter to bring back the pass once again, throws it up in the air. Ryan Harder broke up that pass, and that was a good Ryan breakup. Ryan Harder right there played that perfectly. Got the just at the right time to knock down ball. Turnover on downs for OG. 3.31 to play. Lina up 21 to 13. Lina up by 8. Lina has the ball back. Exhale now, boys, here in the press box. Gary Raspberry, Bob Waterman, Joe Hoyne, and myself. Not yet. We still got three and a half. We've got to control the ball here. Okay. Coach Waterman says we need to control the ball, but I'm for I for one am exhaling at the moment. Fourth, <laughs> first and ten from the 41. Hand off to Harder. He got about a yard out of that. Make it second and nine. St. Mary's is leading 21-17, Kenton after three. Wow, St. Mary's come back. St. Mary's has come back. That's after three quarters of play. Come on, Green! Second down and nine for the Bulldogs. Need to generate a first down somehow. 46 play hand off to Hunter. He got a few. Got it up to the 47 yard line. Gets it to the 47 yard line. Third down and four. Uh, OG's got a timeout, Jim. All right, we'll take a break as well. We'll take a 30-second break and be back on your sports voice of choice, K94. Two thirty-nine to play. Salina with the football. They lead twenty-one to thirteen, an eight-point lead for the Bulldogs. They've got the ball. OG timeout. It's third and four for the Bulldogs from the 47 yard line. It was a big, big, big play here, Jim. Get a first down. Line and they'll be huge. Funny, he's one of the over big shot first downs right now. Caleb Boyne is going to run it. And he. He's going to get the first down. He got just just the four yards, I would say. Yeah, I think he got it. I think he did, too. 
didn't get a real favorable spot. But Wait for a signal. They're gonna they're gonna measure. They're gonna measure it. Make sure. I think he got it. As you say, not the best spot for Salina. But I, I think he got it too. Gary Raspberry from the Standard says about a half a football. We'll see what Gary. See if Gary's right. See if he's a gambler, man. I think it's short. Just short. Just short. Wow. That was the spot that put, they put it back just that much. So we're going to say fourth and an inch for the Bulldogs. Midfield, 49-yard line. What, what do the Bulldogs do here? Got to go for it. Five. Two and a half to go. 2.31 to play. Caleb can, call, can fall forward for an inch. OG called a timeout. Another time inch <laughs> from the 49. Let's see what Salina is going to do. They're going to go for it. You going for it, Jim? I'm going for it. Okay. They're going for it. This is a game if they get it. Everybody in the place is going for it. OG's out of timeouts. OG's, OG's out of timeouts. Caleb Hoyne takes the ball, goes forward. I think he got it. Well, look where the spot come in. He's, if he spots it where he's standing, he got it. Yep. Wait for the sign, but he spotted it. Coach Simple's even coming out to get a bird's eye view. He says they got it. Oh, that spot they got. It's not even close. First down. It's not even close. Another, Bo another Vogel bake shot first down for the Bulldogs, and that is a biggie, folks. <laughs> 2.23 to go in the ball game. From the 48, first down and 10 for the Bulldogs. As you mentioned, Bob, that could be ball game right there. Well, the clock continues to run. The scoreboard says OG has no timeouts, but we don't know. Somebody call a timeout. Officials timeout. Official timeout. Say, surely Salina didn't stop the clock. No. no. We're, we're just with uh, no timeouts and two minutes to go. It's not looking too good for OG. Clock's running. 2.04 to go. Salina break and huddle. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Huge first down for Caleb Hoyne. Be thinking who your offense and defensive player of the games are, Bob. They got a nice shirt. Stars and Stripes graphics coming their way. Caleb Hoyne takes the snap. Keeps it himself. Runs it up the middle for probably about five. About five, I'd say. Gets across the 45 to the 44. We'll call it five. Second down and five for the Bulldogs. Minute 32 to play. They gave him four. Okay, three. they gave him. Scoreboard says three. It looks like four to me. We're giving him four. Second down and six. I've called it. <laughs> I can do that now. I can call my own shots. There you go. Minute 11 to play. 